this and this is crazy there's so many numbers can you help me maybe yeah this is simple it is so easy there's a lot of numbers i can help you surely so i'm really confused about this one 4x to the second plus 16 plus 7 so like what do you do first okay so you would multiply your a times your c your a is 4 and your c is 7 4 mm -hmm. times 7 equals 28 oh. when you when you factor out 28 your two numbers that equal 16 are 2 and 14 oh wait okay so let's see if i can do this so if you so now we have to make those little fraction thingies right, right. okay so the 14 goes at one bottom and the 2 goes at the next and what are those things called again? Denominators. Okay, and the top is a numerator, right? And yeah. that would be the A number. That's 4 as a numerator. Right. And let's see. You can reduce by a, by a number, by two numbers that multiply to the A, which is 4. So it would be 2. So then the 4 over 14 can reduce to 2 over 7, and the 4 over 2 can reduce to 2 over 1, right? Right. So then the answer would be 2x plus 7 in parentheses, and then the next parentheses would be 2x plus 1, right? Exactly. You got it. Wow. Okay. I totally get this. Wow. But wait. Look at this. 8x to the second minus 32x plus 14. Wait, let's see if I can do this now. So, um, let's see. 14 times 8 is 112. Yeah. And then we have to find a factor. So, 1 times 112 does not add to negative 32. 2 times 56 does not add to negative 42. Those numbers negative don't 32. add. Negative 32. Yeah, negative 32. Three, you can't even get a number that equals 112. <gasps> Wait, 28 times 4 equals equals 112 and 32. So if we put a negative in front of both of them, then it'll equal negative 32. Exactly. Okay, so then we put the those two numbers at the bottoms. And let's see, can we, and we put the 8 at the top. So the 8 is the numerator, right? Right. Um, and the negative 4 and negative 28 are the denominators. Right. Okay, so let's so, see if we can simplify this. So basically your fractions right now are 8 over negative 4 and 8 over negative 28. Okay, so let's see. You can't simplify it. 2 times 2 does not equal 8. Oh, but 4 times 2 does. So we can simplify 8 over negative 4 by 2 and make 2 over negative 1. And we could simplify 8 over 28 by 4. I mean by... Negative 28. 8 over negative 28 by 2, and the other one was by 4, right, right. So simplify that by 2 and make 4 over negative 14. And the reason that we can't simplify 4 over negative 14 another time is because you can only simplify by multiples. You can't just keep simplifying more and more. Like, it just doesn't work. Like, that's just, you just can't do it because that you just wouldn't get the right answer. So let's see. Now that we have them simplified, the answer would be 2x minus 1 and 4x minus 14. Wow, that was actually pretty easy. I totally get it. Wow. Easy enough, I see. Wow, I just got this. It isn't crazy. There's a lot of numbers, but I know it. Maybe. Wait, look at this one, it equals zero, I do not get it, can it help me maybe, oh don't freak out now, you can do this, the only difference is the extra step to zero. So how do you do this? 2x okay. to the second plus 7x plus 6 equals zero? Okay, it's not as hard as it looks. So, it's basically the same as the other problems. 
what you do is you multiply your a times your c. Your a is two. Yeah, like, like the same thing. Your Wait, c is six. So I, I, I know how to do it from here. I mean, like... Okay, so let's write it out. Okay, so... Okay. Two times six so is twelve. Two times six is twelve. Okay. Six equals twelve. All right. And then what? What? And oh, and I know if you factor it out, you find that three mm. times four, which also equals twelve, adds to seven. Exactly. So the three and the four go on the bottom, and As the two the go on the top. Two is your denominator. Two, two is your, your numerator. numerator. <laughs> I know this. I know this. I got this. Two is your numerator. It's okay. Two is the numerator, and three is your denominator. I got no, this. three and four are your yeah, denominator. Yeah, three and four. <laughs> got me. You got my back. Okay. So three and four are your denominators. Exactly. Right. Okay. So then what we have to do is... So what are your fractions now? Two over three and two over four. Right. And can we reduce them? Only but, one, which is the two over four. You can reduce right. that by two. You can do two times one. So one... So you reduce 2 over 3 by 1, which is 2 over 3, and you reduce 2 over 4 by 2, which is 1 over 2. So then the answer would be 2x plus 3, and then the next parenthesis would be 1x plus 2. But then it equals 0. So what do you do now to each parenthesis? Okay. Now what you do, since it's all equal to 0, let's start with one, the first parenthesis, 2x okay. plus 3. So you draw a little line out and mm -hmm. then you do 2x plus 3 equals 0. Okay. Then you do the additive inverse to the 3. Okay. So you subtract 3 from both sides. Okay. You get 2x equals negative 3. But you still have that 2 in front of the x. Right. So in order to get rid of that you must divide the 2 on both sides. So Here. x would equal negative 3 over 2? Yes. Wait. Okay. Let me see if I can do this. So then you do the same thing to the 1x plus 2. Yes. So 1x plus 2 equals zero. zero. Then we subtract the two from both sides. One x equals negative two. Then we divide each side by one, and the x equals negative two, because any number divided by one is just the number. Right. So the answer would be the first x is negative three over two, and the second x is, Wait. is negative two, right? Right. Oh and let's gosh. just circle our answers. Good. You always want to circle your answers always. to be clear. You know what you're doing. At the all. bottom right there. Yeah, of course. Here we go. Right there. See? That one. Oh and my that gosh. One. This is actually pretty easy. I, I can see what you're saying here. You know, it it I think I just freaked out over <laughs> nothing. It's okay. Wait, wait, wait. Don't fall asleep yet. I just have one more problem. Okay. Come on. Wake up. So what happens when we need to factor out? Like, if it's 4x to the third plus 16x to the second plus 7x equals 0, then, like, okay. how do I get rid of the, how do I make it 4x to the second? So you find something that goes into all three of these numbers, which is x. Right. So x was on the outside of the parentheses. Oh. Inside the parentheses, you put 4x squared plus 16x plus 7 equals 0. Oh, I see, because all those numbers multiplied by x equal the number from the original problem. Right. Okay, wait. So let's see if I can do this now. So now what we have to do is, like, do it like we did the other problem. So the numerator, right, right. is 4 on both fractions, and the denominator on both fractions is, four, is 14 on one and 2 on the other. And since 2 times 2 equals 4, which is the numerator, we can... We can divide, not divide, simplify, 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 simplify each fraction. So it'll be two, the first 14 over four, 4 over 14 would simplify to 2 over 7. 4 over 2 simplifies to 2 over 1. So then it would be x, and then in the parentheses is 2x plus 7, and then the next parenthesis is 2x plus 1. Right. And wait, let's see if I can figure this out. So x, what would that equal? Just x out of parentheses. X would equal 0. Oh, yeah, because anything times 0 equals 0. Okay. So x has to be 0. Right. Okay, and then let's see. So like 2x plus 7 equals 0. You subtract the 7 from both sides. Then you divide it by 2, and you get x equals negative 7, plus, uh, negative 7 over 2, right? Right. And then the next one, 2x plus 1 equals 0. You subtract the, t the 1 from both sides, divide each side by 2, and the x equals 1, negative 1 half, right? Okay, I think I got this now.
Whoa, how did we get here? I have no idea. Oh, I like your shirt. I like yours. Thank you. Okay, so wait, let's just get, let's get this whole thing straight. So, to do this AX squared plus BX plus C method, right? Okay, so to do that, what you have to do is you have to multiply A times C, right? Right. Then, what you have to do is you have to find a multiple of them that adds to B. And you put them as the denominator. Right. And put the A as the numerator. And you can only simplify these fractions by multiples of A. And then, after you do that, you take the two fractions, put an X after the, the numerator, and you put them in parentheses. And then, depending on whether the Bob numbers are ne negative or a positive, you put plus or minus, right? Right. Wow. I think I got this. After you factor, if there is an equal to zero, you set each factor containing x equal to zero, and then solve for x using the additive inverse and then the multiplicative inverse. Oh, wow, that's not too hard. Before I saw you here today, I was so confused, I didn't get it. It was so, so hard, but now that you have helped me out, it is easy, it's so easy. We did, we did this, this, yeah. yeah. Like blooper reel. Blooper reel. Blooper reel. <laughs> okay. okay, okay. Ready? <clears throat> okay. Wow. Before I saw you here today, I was so. <laughs> and this is the math version of Call Me Maybe. And that's a wrap.